Hello everybody, it's Soleil. I have many embellishments to share with you all. And this is my stackable plastic candy jar. And this has been filled with some embellishments that I've been making lately. So I am going to show you container lot by container lot. As you can see, I have plenty of embellishments ready and these need to be packaged so I can send them off. So first off, I would like to share with you guys the, the dies that I have used. Now this is, as you can see, it's a um, empty jar lid. And I find this lid to be so useful to me because it actually fits the, um, the dies that I use very, very often. And this um, apricot color die is actually from the Maggie Holmes Heritage set that Lana from North Cali Girl 888 has gifted to me in during my birthday challenge. And I have honestly been using this die set over and over again. This is a die set that comes with the stamp images as well. And I've used that to make my embellishments in here, in here, and in here. And this set also comes with the bow die as well. I think I must have put that away. But this set also comes with the smaller circle and it also comes with this shape here as well. And it comes with the um, bow shape, this larger bow shape as well. And it's just been so, so useful to me. And when I use this set, I also, use some different circle size dies as well so that it helps me save time cutting out all the circles that need to go in the middle of the scallop circles and things and then i also have this one which is um actually from one of the sizzix set and this has a scallop circle which is so useful so what i would like to say to the beginner crafters or crafters who are just starting out and wanting to buy some die sets i would always suggest to buy the simple shaped layering um, ones so you can buy the circle nesting die you can buy even the scallop circle nesting dies so you have various sizes to work with um, it's always a good idea to buy um, rectangle size if you're a card maker and so on and so on so this is my favorite jar lid filled with the dies that I use often. And so with the Maggie Holmes Heritage die set that comes with the bow, I have cut out so many of this size bow. I've cut them out so many times. And then the smaller one is from one of the Sizzix set that comes with another card making type. And I have layered the bows together. And the way I did that was, as you can see, you can see the little tiny foam squares in between the layers. So it's got three bows together. I'll show you from the back like this. So it's got three bows together and it gives a real lovely dimension. And also by adding a gem sticker in the middle, it just looks really simple and beautiful. So there's that one. I'm going to quickly share all the different color combinations I've used and different types of gem stickers I've used in the middle. Like this one has that milky middle, milky color gemstone in the middle. And then this one is a minty color one with the blue rhinestone in the middle. Here is a one with the velvety finish um, cardstock and it's been layered with the darker blues together. I love them so much. And here is another blue tone one. These are pretty much like pastel colors. And here are some minty one. And this one is just the smaller one that I've just um, added two together with the foam square and then added the oval or teardrop shape in the middle. And these are always so handy to have because I can add these to card making. I can just put like maybe sort of six and package it up and send it away as well. 
So those are the greeny ones. This is the um, one with the craft cardstock and the uh, lilac purple one and the rose paper. And this one I used one of the diamond puffy stickers in the middle instead of the gem. And here are some tiny little ones that I've made. And there we go. Oh, this one I obviously haven't had time to put them together. So that's what I've done. So those are my little tiny bows or middle-sized bows. So there's one. And then using the Maggie Holmes um, stamp set, I have used the stamp set and the die together, which comes with the word best ever and this um, round leafy stamp as well. So I stamped the best ever onto the circle using the foam sticker in between the layers, just raised it up like that. So there's that. And this set also comes with one of a kind. And this one, I have made it look more vintage, gave it a more vintage feel by distressing it around the edge. I think I used the, um, I'll show you what color I have used. I'm pretty sure I have been using this one, the um, Tim Holtz Distress Oxide Ground Espresso Color to give it the vintage feel. There we go. And here is some glittery ones. I love using glitter cardstock behind the stamped image to make it make the word stand out better. So there's that one with the orange one. This one has the gold foil backing. And this one, I made it vintage feel by adding the Distress Oxide around it. Same with this one. I have used some um, dis dis some distressing. I can't talk. Now this one, this stamp set here actually comes from another stamp set that says, You are smart, strong, kind, and beautiful. And I love gifting positive sentiments like this. And sorry about my bandage. Today I was having um, mud crab and I was breaking off a piece for my son. And guess what? I cut along. <laughs> anyway, here's another one that says best ever. And I used the simple um, black and white background paper. And I this one, I love this one. It's the rose gold color foil cardstock. And this one is a gold glitter cardstock that I have backed onto another type of scallop circle to give it a different look. And this one says, choose joy. Now this stamp set, choose joy, was actually in one line and I cut the words into two and then I just placed the choose at the top and the joy at the bottom to stamp it like that onto the circle. Here are some more black and white one. I have also had this beautiful iridescent, almost holographic kind of bluey color one that I backed onto, more rose gold. So by what I'm trying to show you guys is that by using different kind of cardstock with different matte feel or glitter feel or um, um, foil backing, it actually makes the word sentiment stand out a lot more. And these are some of the little ones, choose joy. And this one says one of a kind. So there's that lot. The next lot is a bit more interesting. By using the same dies that I have shown you before, I have made all of these embellishments using mainly a lot of the stickers that I've had in my collection. So, Oh, these ones says choose joy. Oh, these ones are the same ones as those. I'll put those there. Here are some of those um, Hobby Lobby or Paper Studio puffy stickers of the mermaids. So I made that one and that one for someone who would like mermaids. Then I have this one with the chipboard floral. And all I did was use this lovely iridescent um, backing sticker. And I just, I used the... Because I had gifted, I've been gifted a, um, a sheet of iridescent sticker sheet, which is like an A4 size. So what I did was to be able to die cut it easier, I used one of the scrapbooking paper and then just put that on top and then die cut it to get this effect. I love that one. Here's another mermaid one and I've added some bling stickers. And this sticker says happy little moment. 
So those are some mermaidy ones. Here are some more of those Paper Studio Girl puffy stickers that I absolutely love. And this one says Lately. More of those beautiful girls. This one says So Loved. And I added a tiny um, sequin trim to the bottom. And this one says uh, Remember to Smile. What? Well, there's no two, but... That's basically what I was going for. Remember to smile. And I love the color combination that I have used for that. Here is another one of those special girls. And it says like. This is a puffy sticker. On Also use the um, chunky glitter heart sticker. This is another one. Now this one I was able to use a bit of the diamond wrap. I was experimenting to see if I would like using the diamond wrap bits into my embellishment. And this color actually worked out quite nicely. Now these are the different kind of puffy stickers from the Paper Studio. And a lot of you guys have been buying this when you guys over in America had the orange sticker sale. And so I used that girl on top of a sentiment that said lovely. And I've also um, put some chipboard pieces underneath the larger circle piece. And the next one, here's another one with that lovely puffy, layered puffy sticker. As you can see, that's the dimension there. Another one here. Here's another one. I really love the fact that I've given her a sparkly tiny bow and some puffy heart stickers there. This one has the minty sequin trim underneath the word love. And this one, I have used the holographic metallic eyelash trim. And here's another eyelash trim one that I've used with the um, puffy stickers. And it's got the word sticker moments. And another tip is if you have a word sticker that has a lot of the um, outside, the surrounding background color, you can just cut it to make it thin like this. Uh, let's see, what other ones have I? Oh, here's another, some more with the Paper Studio Girls. This one says Good Vibes. This one, I gave her a bow again for this one, and it says Today Was the Best. And let me move on to show you some of the littler ones. These are the floral ones that I've done with the tiny um, circles and the scallop circles. Here is the one that's very simple. It says best day ever with the plant. And these are the ones with the swans. These are the um, layered swan stickers. And when I look at a pretty swan like this, it reminds me of the, um, the ballet scene. You know, like the Swan Lake ballet scene and stuff. And it, it just reminds me of the crown as well. So I added the crown sticker. Here are some more swan ones. Let's see what else. Do I have any more swan ones? No, those are it. This one is the chipboard camera piece from the Maggie Home Sunny Days collection. I added it with some butterfly die cut behind the camera and the sticker that says ready for takeoff. But I covered the takeoff part with the puffy sticker that says going on vacation. This is another chipboard piece, and I really love the effect this one gave with the snowy mesh underneath the chipboard piece. But the base is the craft cardstock, and I added the mesh on top of the craft cardstock, then added the chipboard sticker on top and layered on like that. Here is another chipboard camera piece that I love. And here is another floral one. And these are the these are the layer stickers that you guys in America buy always, I think. And I love these as well. And I'm so thankful to have them. Now these um, girl stickers are all layered up already with the foam stickers. So it just gives a real fast um, dimension. And these are the blue hair girls that I've decorated. 
And these are the pink Paris girls. And then I have also added these glittery lipstickers that I've been gifted a long, long time ago. And I'm finally using them. I really love these glittery lipstickers. I don't really love um, any kind of lipstickers, but these ones are really, really nice. They're really good size too. So as you can see, I've got all of these. And now what I want to do before before I let you guys all go is I want to share how I am going to package some of these. So I have some challenges that I'm entering and or friend mail that I'm sending in the future and I'd like to package some to show you guys how I go about it. Um, you can definitely most likely add bag toppers on top of the packaging if you want to. But majority of the time I don't because it kind of saves the, the space. You know when you're packaging it, you don't want things to get squashed in a wrong way. Or I, I try to maximize every space I have in my box or packaging um, things. So I try not to add bag toppers to everything unless I have extra space. So I have decided that I would go for like a light pastel minty color um, paper to store my embellishments on. So I have chosen these three and I have found, I always like to recycle my packaging material um, if it doesn't have a lot of sticky things on them. If it's like nice and clean like this, I keep it. So I've got three different um, bags that I've um, already found and I've got three bits of paper. So now what I'm going to do is I'll work with this size first and I need to measure it. So if I have a piece of paper, so this is my actual scrap paper that I have left, but it's actually perfect for this size bag. But you don't want it to be the same size as the packaging bag. I need to have at least this amount of gap between each side to be able to fit my dimensional embellishments. So I am going to get my Fiskars mini cutter. And you guys, this is another thing. <laughs> this is what I do. I don't use my ruler to measure the width and all of that stuff. I like to kind of like look at it like this and go, oh yeah, I need to cut where that X is, that kind of thing. All right, so that's what I do. So I'm gonna cut where that X is like this. And then I'm gonna put it against my packaging. See how it's got enough gap on each side? So now it's good. Now I gotta look at the height. Now the height doesn't really bother me because there is this much gap, this much, um, I'll show you. When you open it up, I mean, you don't have to, I can just put enough, see how it fits? And then I can just close that bit to the back. So I'm not gonna cut any further. And because I have glue dots, um, these were gifted to me. I don't normally buy glue dots in Australia because they cost a lot, but these were gifted to me, so I have been using it. And to, um, to make sure that my embellishments can, you know, it's, it's strong enough to be on here w during shipment, but I don't want too much glue dot on my embellishment so that it, so that it's hard for the recipient to take it off to use. So, um, instead of using a whole entire glue dot, I cut them into four or even sometimes six because it's quite strong. So you can cut it like this twice and then you can like just cut it in the middle to get six glue dots. So that's another tip I can share with you guys. So I've got to see what I want to put on this color paper. Now, if I put this one on here, the background color of the scallop circle is too similar to this. So I wouldn't do that. So if I were to go with, let's say some tiny ones, that's okay because you can see the different ones easily. So I can do something like that. 
and you don't have to have same kind on the paper you can do a mixture of different things on there so that the recipient has a good variety or different kinds to look at so i might go with all the girl type but that's too green see that green there is too similar to this so i wouldn't put that one on there so let me see what else now i'm thinking i'll go with this pinky one instead of that other one and i might add let's see what other girly one i can add hmm i might go with this one and then maybe switch that around like that and let's do that and then i might add some bows as well see how i've got some gap here now so i have enough room to add some bows so i can add a small one let's see what color i can add mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh that one came off this thing i'm gonna have to stick that on there properly again Let's see, I don't want the red one and I don't want the green ones. That's too similar in color. That one could be okay. Mm -hmm. I don't want too much of that checkered red. So I'm gonna have to get these out. Mm, no, not that one. Mm. I wonder if I should do that one. No. I can rearrange things by doing that. I can do something like that, but not really. Maybe I won't put the bows in this one. I, I'm thinking I'm going to go with another one, maybe a swan. See, this is what I do. I like to play around um, with things and see which ones look nice together. That's what I like to do. That is a possibility like that. Mm. Or do I want to go with one of this on top? Nope. So this is what I do. I just wanted to share with you guys how I go about packaging my things. It, it is not a simple, fast process for me, although it can be if I wanted it to be, but I like to like look at the color combinations and things and make sure that everything looks nice and so on, so on. No, that's too ready for me. I'm going to go back to this girl. And let's see. Do I want a mermaid instead? No. How about if I do two mermaids? Hmm. No. No, no, no. I'm going to go back to these. I'm going to go back to these. And I might put a swan in the middle like this. And let's see what other one. We'll do a black and white one like that. Yes. So I'm going to go like that. That's, I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So it's got a good variety there. And then let me see if I want to add some bow. Maybe I could do two different bows, like that, there, and then I could do another two kind of bows here, like that. And then now, I'm thinking I need to switch these now you can see things better so that's the way i am going to have it so i am going to use my glue dot now what i do with my other little glue dot oh this always happens of course i lost it so i'm going to get these off and then i'm going to 
add these to the back like this in the middle now this one you kind of have to rub it a bit like this for it to come off like that and then you stick it in position like that so there's that one done here's another one so i'm gonna peel that off put it in the middle now if you don't have glue dot you can use um, washi tapes and that's what i've been doing before i had these glue dots i've been using washi tape so oh these are so strong that this is another reason why i don't like to use a whole circle of it okay so there's that and then i'm going to use this put this on there we go mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like that and this one to do this periscope go and another good thing about um, die cutting is that you are able to use up your scrap papers because you know everybody has a variety of scrap paper colors so you can do that now for the bows I don't want the oh these ones are nice and small so for the bows oh there's two on there for the bow you want it like a tiny one in the middle and then pull it off put that there i'm gonna put this one in the middle oops the other side okay pull it off uh oh didn't go on there yeah it's kind of a bit annoying the glue dots that and then i just need to do those so i'm going to cut and do a little dot you don't need a big amount on here okay so just do that pull it up. oh my lord doesn't want to stay there okay there you go do that and what I do with the other one so when you're doing um, recording you lose things easily and you just can't find them okay oh here it is here you go here's another little one put it at the back like this here you go and then you do that and so you open up your packaging bag and then you slide it in there like this and this is where it's your choice you can add some sequin mixes in here to make it more presentable if you want to but i'm not going to so just close it up like this and so i have my stuff packaged already hope it's not too glary for you guys there you go so that's it thank you for um listening to me and thank you for looking at all my embellishments that i've been making and i hope you have fun packaging your embellishments as well thank you everybody bye